I want to do uh, one real calculation, although this year in IB you don't need to worry about it, but it's interesting probably for physics students who take chemistry. Uh, now, the amount of uh, product that you produce during electrolysis, which we just mentioned, there are three factors involved, in, uh, is also known as electrochemical stoichiometry. Now, a few uh, just definitions borrowed from electricity. One ampere, which is the unit for current, is simply equal to one coulomb per second. So the current is equal to charge. It's defined as charge per unit time. And one mole of electrons usually carries 96,485 coulombs, or it's also known as uh, Faraday, uh, given to Michael Faraday when he came up with the concept. So one mole of electrons carries this much charge. It's also simply the charge of electron times Avogadro's number. So that's where this number comes from. So for example, a question like this, how many grams of copper will be deposited when 41.67 amperes has passed through a solution for two minutes? Uh, the first thing we are going to do is find the charge in coulombs, which charge is simply the current times time in seconds. So I take 41.67 amperes, multiply it by 2 minutes is 120 seconds, and what we get is about 5,000 uh, coulombs, C for that. Now, one mole of electron carries this much coulomb, so I should be able to convert this to moles of electron. I can say below that 96,485 coulomb is equal to one mole of electron, so simply moles of electrons come to life after I have this much current for two minutes going through. And x is calculated to be 0 0.0518 moles of electron. Now if you look at copper, uh, copper is 2 plus in copper sulfate, and it requires 2 moles of electron to give you 1 mole copper. So let's use this concept and say 1 mole copper for every two moles of electron. Let's use our calculated moles of electron here and find how many moles of uh, copper comes to life, so Y mole. So when we do cross multiplying, this happens to be the produce point 0259 moles of copper. The last thing to do is let's convert it into mass and mass is simply moles times molar mass. Molar mass of copper is 63.55. So the mass of copper will be 0 0.0259 moles multiplied by 63.55 grams per mole. And final answer is you are going to produce 1.65 grams of copper for duration of two minutes and passage of uh, 41.67 amperes. Now then again, this year you don't have to worry about these calculations, but maybe this calculation brings everything else to light if you pay attention to it.